What's up YouTube? In this video, I'm going to give you four ways to increase your cold email responses. What's going on YouTube family? Hey guys, thank you so much for subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing these videos with your friends, family, whoever needs to see this stuff. I really, really appreciate you guys. With that said, let's jump right into the video, which is all about four ways that we can increase our cold email responses. And we know this is something that's super important, especially in our market right now, as it is in many, many other markets. Getting cold email responses is huge for developing business. So let's go over four ways we can do it and do it effectively. All right, so the first way that you can get more responses out of your cold emails is starting off with what I call the engagement piece. So obviously this is basically something that creates engagement. Now what is engagement? Engagement is something that keeps the reader reading. So it could be an observation or something that you just wanted to mention or anything of the like. It's not selling, it's not getting into business, it's just getting their attention, getting their engagement, so they keep reading and don't shut off their phone. To be super specific, this is something you start off with, literally, as in John, and an engagement statement. So right off the bat, they get engaged, they want to read more, and they keep going. So the engagement statement happens first. So as always, we definitely want to speak directly to our audience, which is our prospect, right? So in our market, right, I'm talking about recruiting throughout this example. And what I'm going to tell you is exactly how you should go about getting a recruiting prospect on your side through engagement and then three other pieces. So being that we know how cold email works and being that we know how to speak directly to our audience in recruitment, we're definitely going to be hitting decision makers in that aspect. And so with your engagement statement, this is going to be crafted around recruitment. So here for an example is going to be maybe you've seen a ton of different companies in, I don't know, maybe the financial sector, right? Just an example. And they're getting hit pretty hard. And there are a lot of them going out of business or not hiring or they've slowed everything down. But you found one company that's posting ads on Indeed all over the place. Posted 30 days ago, posted two days ago, and maybe you even find their LinkedIn and there are actually people on LinkedIn saying, hey, we're hiring CPAs, we're hiring staff accountants, et cetera, et cetera. That is a telltale sign that you need to engage that company right away. The question is, how exactly do you do it? So the exact example statement that you would throw in as your engagement piece would be like this. Wow, I didn't expect to see your company hiring for so many positions as it seems like most other companies in your industry seem to have been wiped out in some way or another. That's it. That's the entire sentence right there. It's not selling, it's not getting into business details yet, it's simply noting an observation, something that you see and you're conveying to the recipient. Understand that most cold emails don't start off like this, so this should pique their engagement, hence why I'm saying this is the engagement piece, because normally they're going to see something along the lines of, hey, here's how we can help you out, here's a bunch of stuff about our company, and blah, 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 blah. No, that email doesn't go like this. You are engaging this person right off the bat, so they keep reading. All right, so number two, the second way we're gonna make our cold email stand out and get more responses is by using something I'm gonna call casual credibility. The reason I'm calling this casual credibility is because but number one, it is totally casual, and number two, it's pretty much telling a story, like an anecdote about something that you've done, specifically for a client in the recruiting space, right? So maybe you helped out a client and did something super beneficial for them, and you mention it as your next statement, casual credibility. By the way, if you are mass sending out cold emails and casual credibility is not woven into the emails, weave it right in. So the exact statement example would go like this. So lately, we've been helping out our clients with a 10 to 15% direct hire fee so that they can hire people faster and more frequently, which helps them get back on their feet and grow. Now you wanna hit them with an exact example specific power statement that totally knocks it out of the park. 
That example statement would be something like this. We actually just recently helped our last client fill five positions in a few weeks just because we utilized a lighter fee with them, so it made it easier on all parties. Bam! If you don't think you have their attention yet, right then, there, and now, then you better second guess that because you just gave them a load of credibility, a load of exactly what you're doing for other clients and what you could potentially doing for them. It's super simple. It's casual credibility. You're basically weaving in stories and anecdotes about how you've helped other clients and how you can potentially help them. This definitely gets the seed planted. Which, by the way, side note, storytelling is the most compelling way to get to anybody, whether it's in a cold email or an email, it doesn't really matter. You're not going to win them over with facts, figures, numbers. Storytelling is where it's all about. So whenever you can tell a story, tell a story. All right, so our number three way to get more responses out of our cold emails is to inform. Now, what I'm really saying is simply to inform them of what's possible. Now, sometimes in a cold email, you literally have to go that far and actually spell it out for them. Show them what's possible, what you can do for them. Maybe the first part was good, but it wasn't good enough. So explicitly inform them of what you can do. And I'll give you an example. So the exact example statement I would use right here and now would be, Knowing what market rates usually are, you can easily see why a 15% versus a 25% direct higher fee could mean everything for bringing new people on. So what did you just do? Well, number one, you just reinforced exactly what you can do for them, which is a very strong element. And number two, you spelled out explicitly the savings that you can offer their company during these times and you showed them exactly what that would mean for them. That's really, really strong. All right, so number four on the list of how to get more responses out of cold emails, the friend request. All right, so in all reality, this is really just the call to action piece at the end of an email, but it should be totally revamped and redone. And I totally think that everyone typing up cold emails should switch to this model right away. So rather than saying, hey, do you have 15 minutes to chat about this next week? Which, by the way, is totally fine. It's not going to be the death of your cold email, so don't worry. But maybe play this out more like a friend request on Facebook or a connection on LinkedIn and do something like the following. The exact statement that I would use here in closing on the email is, would it make sense for us to have a conversation about working together? See what I did there? I didn't try to just throw something up on the calendar and see if it sticks. I tried to friend request them. I literally tried to create the relationship at the end of my cold email. By asking this type of question, you're giving them a ton of respect and you're doing a totally different thing than what we normally do. And it's actually asking some of the following. Hey, do you think this is relevant for you? Do you think this would be of good value for you? Would you like to engage with me further? Of course, we already know that these thoughts are going to be going through their mind anyway. So why not ask it in a more simple fashion like I did? And therefore, if we presented well, if we laid out our four strategies properly, the answer should be, hopefully, yes. What's a good time we can chat and connect? All right, so enough with the four strategies that are going to get us more responses to our cold emails. I want to give you guys some last minute, super, super important tips on cold email as a total reinforcement and refresher. So please take notes, watch this twice. These are incredibly important. So I want to preface this by saying, sending out a cold email, you always want to provide value. That means talking more about the company and their potential needs than your company and what you have to offer. So if your email is 70% about your company and 30% about theirs, delete the entire email and start from scratch. The next item I want to mention is 90% of emails are read on a mobile device. If someone has to scroll just once to get the last bit of information, they have already lost 40% of the 50% attention that they already gave you barely. So eliminate wordy, lengthy emails that just have useless verbiage about your company maybe and just tons of stuff that you don't need in the email. 
By the way, this is incredibly simple. So if you have an email where someone has to scroll on a mobile device, simply rework that email. Take a look at it. Basically go through as a second glance. There are so many words that you'll find that you can eliminate like that. Eliminate words, combine words, add phrases, change phrases, just put it in a format that someone doesn't have to scroll, they can read in one shot on a mobile device if it's at 90% of people, and you're gonna get way more responses. Listen, last but not least, I'm not the grammar police, but check it out, I am guilty of this myself. Tons of grammatical errors always happen, especially if we're typing on a mobile device or even on our computers. Here's the deal, get something like Grammarly, which is free, I'm not an affiliate by the way, there's nothing to make off of it because it's free. Anyways, get that, use that. It will highlight anything that you screwed up and basically fix your entire email so that you don't have to hunt and peck and make sure that everything is perfect. It will do it in real time while you type the email out. If you've watched this video to the end, you'll understand that all of these tiny little steps add up to massive value because when you do them all correctly, you're going to get an influx, an aggregate, of positive responses and hopefully conversions of course that's what we want so guys go forward and make sure you're sending out quality emails that get more responses and of course if you enjoyed this video smash that like button hit the subscribe button as well as the alert button so that you know every single time i release a new video until then